three more false beliefs that hinder success. Hi, I'm Ed Riggins, but most people just call me Riggo. And welcome back to Thoughts for Thursday, and welcome to beautiful, lush, green Galena Territory in western Illinois near the Iowa border. Today, I'm adding to an earlier post and offering three more false beliefs that sometimes hold us back by keeping us stuck in our victim stories. You can click on the nearby link if you'd like to take a look at the three false beliefs from the earlier post. Picking up from the last post, number four, the false belief that I am at the center of everything. Mindfulness teacher John, John Kabat-Zinn said this, had this great quote, I love it so much. It's an occupational hazard of being packaged in a body. The whole universe is outside of you, and you are obviously the center of it. So am I, close quote. This belief can easily lead us to personalize things we perceive to be slights. The end of this false belief is sometimes described as having a Copernican moment. You may recall that Copernicus was the astronomer who in the 1500s discovered that it was the sun, not the earth, that was the center of the universe. Number five, the false belief that bad things should not happen to me. It was many years ago, but I failed in my first marriage. I also had a period many years ago when I had uh, lost several jobs in a short period of time because of changing market conditions and the portfolio decisions of some big investors. These were some of the most difficult times in my life. But they became less difficult when I finally asked myself, why would these things not be happening to me? Bad things happen to people all the time. What makes me think I'm so special? Number six, the false belief that reacting is the same as responding. Reacting and responding are often treated as synonyms, but we can experience them de very differently and they have different connotations in our daily use. One definition of react is to act in opposition to a force or influence. We sometimes act in opposition reflexively to our own detriment and to the detriment of our relationships. One definition of respond is to say something in return. When something upsets us, if we can just wait a few beats, we discover that we can say something in return that is more well-informed. We can say something in return that accounts for our own emotional state in that particular moment. Just, I, just so FYI, I'll be delivering a keynote for Crew Atlanta on October 10th, and non-members are welcome. You can click on the nearby link to register. Thanks for joining me. Doors closed.